Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about journalism and comedians and ethical standards related to journalism and how objective journalism may not actually exist, may not be a thing. Ethics in journalism seems to be a big thing for you. So I was wondering if I could get your opinion on a matter that's been bothering me. Why do a lot of progressive TV programs call themselves comedy rather than news stations? People like John Oliver, Stephen Colbert, and Trevor Noah all very definitively style themselves as disseminators of information, yet in interviews always brush off claims that they're journalists, but instead they're comedians. Is it just to avoid scrutiny and ethics standards or what? No, I don't think that's it at all. Um, the journalistic pieces that those comedians put out most times hold to the ideals of journalistic ethics better than most major networks, to be completely honest. Um, journalistic ethics are ideals. They're, they're something you strive for, but in most cases you'll never achieve. Being objective, it's, it's really hard. The largest outfit that I think does a good job with it is the AP, the Associated Press. They really strive to meet those journalistic ideals. However, there's nothing saying that while you're answering the, the question words, well, maybe this little piece of information right here doesn't need to be in it. It's not really that important to the story, and it's a decision that is made by the journalists who's writing it, and it's subjective. And then you have the question of whether or not you should even cover something. There are reams of information that you will never find in a newspaper. I don't believe objective journalism exists. That school of thought is best personified in Hunter S. Thompson, gonzo journalism. Gonzo journalism acknowledges that straight reporting, well, that can get you to fact. But facts, with a little bit of fiction, a little bit of history, for additional context, maybe a little bit of humor, stands a better chance of getting to truth. I think that a lot of the comedians who are doing this, they're doing it because they have a platform. And we live in a broken, unethical world, and they're tired of being spectators. So they're trying to, uh, trying to use the platform they were given to better the world. I applaud them for it. They're trying to get off the sidelines. It's, it's, it's that simple. I don't think that they're trying to avoid ethical standards, because in most cases, they really do a better job than most professional journalists. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's hard to maintain both objectivity and profitability. That's an issue that the industry of journalism is dealing with. If you don't classify yourself as a journalist, and there's a lot of journalists who have dropped that identifier, in fact, on my social media, I think the only place it still exists is on YouTube. And that's only because I haven't gotten around to removing it. Um, it's hard to do both. Because profitability, the current model in the, in the industry, is to present both sides, right? The problem is a lot of times there's not two sides to an issue. Not if you're being objective. So to maintain profitability you have to sacrifice objectivity. Some people don't want to do that. Some people do not want to be uh, constrained by the idea that they should present both sides of an issue. First off, most issues have way more than two sides. Some only have one, though. This habit of entertaining things that objectively aren't true has pushed a lot of journalists out to where they're going independent or they're pursuing other avenues to get to 
what they perceive as the truth. Um, and that's the thing, is that once you step outside of those ethical standards, it is perception. Once you acknowledge that objective journalism really isn't a thing, you know it's subjective. So then you have to be more careful because you know your opinion is influencing it, which in a weird way actually makes you hold to the rest of the ethical standards a little bit better. Um, the United States, in particular, has a real issue with the idea that an uninformed opinion or an ill-informed opinion is as valuable as an informed one or an objective fact. And the current business model of journalism suggests that, well, we should profile them all. I think that there's a lot of people in journalism who don't want to do that, who, who are tired of it and who see how damaging that business model is. And then there's people who are outside of journalism, who may have never been a journalist, who see the, uh, the gap, the hole that's being created by this model, and they want to provide their information. And they want to try to help. They want to try to better the world as they see it. Sure, it's perception. It's subjective. But they're trying to help. Um, and if you, if you end up with a huge platform like these comedians have, you'd have to be kind of a horrible person not to want to help. I mean, I applaud them. And for real, if you ever actually sat down and just fact-checked, I assure you that the comedians are more accurate in their information than the actual information they're presenting. You know, you have to exclude the jokes. That then, at least two major networks that I know of. Um, I don't think it has to do with them trying to avoid ethical standards. I think that they are acknowledging that there is a uh, a hole that needs to be filled when it comes to content that is put out. They don't have to both side something. And the thing is, the American people have been trained to believe journalists are supposed to do that. They're not. That's, that's not part of it. Um, they're not supposed to both sides issues. If Bill tells me it's raining and John tells me it's sunny, I'm not supposed to Print both quotes. I'm supposed to walk outside and see which is true. At some point, that got lost. And it created this hole for information that is exploring things objectively, but acknowledges that it's somebody's opinion. They use comedy to do it. Hunter S. Thompson just made stuff up. Um... I, I try to insert historical context to stuff. There's a whole bunch of different ways people are trying to to fill this gap. Um, and I don't think any of it has to do with trying to avoid ethical standards. I think they're just trying to avoid comments that say, well, why don't you tell us the other side to this thing that is an objective fact? Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.